Let's create a footprint for an inductor off the universal parts list. So first we gotta review the data sheet. As you can find them right here on DigiKey. And then normally we can find our footprint information somewhere near the bottom, but here we can see it's right there. And this data sheet is for a couple different parts, so we need to make sure that we get the dimensions for our part specifically. And if you go back to DigiKey real quick, we can see that the size is 1210 or 3225 metric. And right there is our 3225 metric. So these are the dimensions that we're going to have to use in order to uh, make our footprint. So now moving to KiCad. We're going to click here to go into the PCB Footprint Editor. And I'm going to, first I always select my Active Library, which in this case is going to be the Universal Parts List, the, the Open Circuit Institute right here, the UPL Footprints. I'm going to click OK. And now I can make a new footprint. So we're just going to call this 1210i. I believe that's what the 1210. Yep, 1210i, i for an inductor. And to start out, we have our reference text and then our uh, footprint name. And I'm just going to move these out of the way. We'll, we'll get to them later. And now we want to place our first pad. So I'm just going to place this, doesn't really matter, I'm going to place it right there, somewhere near the center. And this is a circular pad, and this is definitely not what we need for our inductor as it's a surface mount device. So I'm going to go back here real quick, and I'm going to remember our dimensions for our pad, which is going to be A and C. So it's 0.85 by 2.7. It's 0.85 and 2.7. Hopefully I can remember that. And now I'm going to scroll over this pad and I'm going to press the E key. I'm going to set my position to 0, 0 because that makes things easy to know where we're at when we start off. And this pad type we're going to change it to SMD and our shape is going to be rectangular. Now, I know that my X size was 0.87, so I think, and just real quick, oh, 0.85 and 2.7, 0.85, 2 2.7, and there's the dimension of one of our pads, and that's it. That's all we really need to do. Now, I'm going to actually uh, alter this just a little bit because... We want our pads to be easy to solder to, and it's not going to hurt much if we actually change this to 0.9 to give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a length here that we have extra to solder onto. But we need to remember that because this dimension will be important later. So here we are, right at the center. There's our first pad, and now we want our second pad. So. What I find is usually the easiest way to go about laying pads, especially well for two pads or if you have like an IC that has pads uh, parallel like a PDIP chip, um, the easiest thing to do is actually create an array. So I'm going to have a 2 by 1 array, which will give me two of these pads, and I need to figure out my horizontal spacing. So to find my horizontal spacing, it's just going to be A plus B. So we've got 0.9, because remember we're not using 0.5 anymore, or 0.85, we're using 0.9, and 1.7. So that's going to be 2.6. So I'm just going to change my horizontal spacing right there to 2.6. And then I'm going to change my numbering scheme to continuous. So I have 1 and then 2. And it's fine if we restart the numbering. Click OK, and there is my second pad. And really, I mean, at this point, we're about done um, with all the layout. 
thing that's nice is to put these lines in here to indicate that obviously you shouldn't be soldering anything in between these pads or uh, placing anything when you design. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this graphic line or polyline. And I'm going to click right here. Place a line just like that. And then I can actually duplicate that. I can either, I, I could, well, so I click escape and then I scroll over it and then right click and then duplicate. Now I'm just going to put this right about there. It's not, not too critical that the, the placement on that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and move my reference down below it. move this right on top. Now we want our center to actually be right here. So what I'm going to do is I need to move all of this this distance here. So what that is is this is going to be this length plus this length divided by 2. So we can get that back from data sheet. Remember this is 0.9 and this is 1.7. So we have uh, 2.6, so that divided by 2 is 1.3. So I want to go here, and I'll press Control A. Oops, Control A doesn't work. I want to select like this. And I'm going to right click, I'm going to move exactly. And I want to move in the negative x direction, negative 1.3. Now we're exactly centered. Now all I gotta do is save that. And there we go. Our footprint is finished.